Okay, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and log in to the computer that's attached to the laser engraver. Once you log in under your account, then you go find your peace sign that you created. Okay, and we've gone ahead and we found our peace sign right here in our directory where we did it on our workstation in the other room. And the next thing you want to do is you want to come up here, you can see this red icon, it's called RD Works V8, this guy right there. And so what you do at that point is you double click on that icon, and what RD Works does is it's the software that takes your DXF file that you create in AutoCAD and prepares it to be put onto the laser. And you can see the screen here, it looks like kind of like Illustrator or AutoCAD, but a little bit different. Then you come and find your file and you open it up. So I'm going to go down to my directory where I have my files down here in my shared space and I'm going to find AutoCAD 2019 and I can't find it. Well I did something wrong. What I should have done instead of open the file, I should have gone up here and said import that file. So I'm going to go back to my account and find that AutoCAD and there's my P sign. See right here on the screen where I've got it laid out to optimize space? Then I go ahead and hit OK. So I open it up, and there's my peace sign with actually a pathways on it. So I'm going to take that now and move it up into the upper left, excuse me, upper right corner of our screen as you see right here. OK. OK, I've gone ahead and got my file loaded, as you can see right here. I'm going to use my middle mouse button. Kind of like AutoCAD, I'm going to pan up here and zoom up and see it. Now if you look close, there's a light green box that goes around that represents the four inches, and then there's the actual blue which represents the cut. Well the light green is basically our justification to show it fits on the part that we've got, our little billet. So I'm going to come over here where it says work, and I find the light green, and I'll see it right here. And I'm going to come down and change the power to 30, uh, excuse me, to 0. Turn my num lock on, turn that to 0. I'll turn the maximum power to 0 as well. So that way it doesn't laser engrave, but it shows. Now I'm going to change the priority to 1. Okay, hit enter. Okay, and then now I'll come up here to the other one, the green one, which is, that's my uh, outline. I'll go to the blue one which has my power. I can double click on it and open it here. I prefer to use over here. I'm going to set the blue cut to be 95% of my power. 95% of my power here. I'm going to set a priority of 2, which is good. Then I'll set my speed to 30%. Okay. Now once I have that set, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to save my file over here using the file folder. And I'm going to call this one piece, hyphen sign, hyphen 001. I always like to keep a version of my files. Now the next thing I'm going to do is download that file from the computer onto the laser's controller. So I'll select download. It says no graphics selected. That's a common mistake. I'm really glad I did that actually. So that makes sure that you go and select, put a polygon around it, and then you hit select and you hit download. And it comes up and gives you a name. It says Peace SIG. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to come back and say duplicate, cover the old one. I'm going to say I'm going to repeat it, put a new one on there. It says file download success. Okay. okay, once we've got our file successfully loaded up, we've got to find the file on the actual machine. The way to do that is, depending on what screen you come up with, just hit escape and hit file. Now, there's a list of files right here on it, and they give you a bit of a preview. So we're going to step down there until we find our file. And we're going to find the file, which I think was P6. Let me go up a little bit, see if I can find that. Should find it here in a second. Here's the file right here, okay, and as you can see it comes up, let's see if we can kind of get in closer and look at that. You can see the actual layout of the file as it was drawn in AutoCAD and now also using the Rabbit, uh, using the RD Works 
8 file so we can see how that looks. I mean, that's perfect. That's what we want. Now, okay, so we're about ready to go ahead and fire that up. So what we want to do now is we'll come back to this in a second. Okay, right now we're running a test of the file just to see if it runs out successfully. You don't normally have to do that if you uh, cut this out before. But we're doing it right now just to make sure it all fits on the, uh, uh, the piece of wood. Now if you look over here on the controller, you can see the controller is showing you how it actually runs and cuts on the particular piece of wood as you're seeing there. Looks like it's going to cut out pretty good from what we can tell on the layout of the piece of wood. So let's let it finish this one file here. And as you can tell, it's gone ahead and finished. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shut the door. And my student here is going to come over here and hit start. And as you can see, it's starting to run it again here on the controller. If you look over here on the machine, You can actually see the laser going in there and cutting that part out. That's a successful run that we need to be able to achieve. Okay, we'll come back to this once it's complete. Ready? Okay, we can see that the job came out really, really well. The real key to it is if we lift the part up, do they all come off? Well, we got a few down here. They're still a little bit tight. That's okay. They'll come off and make it come out. We just probably have to rerun that a little bit. As you can see, the job looks pretty good. All right. So now we'll go on and we'll paint these and we'll continue to work on our project.